okay, that is a good historical assessment of LBJ. How did you personally feel about it? Well, I really liked the man. I mean, I thought that he was uh, he was so utterly human. Um, uh, his um, uh, he expected loyalty. Uh, he expected uh, uh, people to be loyal to him uh, totally, and I thought myself he deserved loyalty. If you weren't loyal to him uh, and believed in him and his programs, then you had no business working for him. Uh, and uh, he didn't, as far as I ever saw, he didn't mind you uh, presenting your point of view to him before he made a decision. Uh, on the other hand, there were not too many people who were uh, able to stand up to him and were not cowed by him. Uh, I think, interestingly enough, uh, two people who, uh, who are often thought of as being uh, uh, mere patsies for him uh, were probably the two people who, who were totally uncowed by him and willing to state their own points of view. Uh, and those were uh, Dean Rusk and Ramsey Clark. Now Ramsey, the president, uh, uh, disagreed so much with what Ramsey was doing, but somehow or other, uh, he uh, he didn't uh, didn't mind when he was with Clark personally. Uh, Ramsey would stand up to him, and the president didn't react to that. Uh, uh, now I would never stand up to the president, but uh, uh, I was just a very small cog in his machinery. But uh, I uh, thought the man was a, a, a marvelous human being, a very warm to the people who were around him. He always cared about you uh, and uh, what uh, you were doing in your family. He would uh, help staff members out uh, uh, and not want any credit for it. I think maybe the most uh, impressive incident of that was uh, George Reedy had to have, had problems with his feet, hammer foot I think he had, and he had to have an operation but he didn't have the money. And uh, the president made sure the money, he g gave him the money, but m swore everybody to secrecy. So the, I don't know that George Reedy knew about that when he died. And that was the kind of man he was. Uh, Sherwin, what about uh, the uh, staff, at least the ones that you worked with uh, 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 closely? Uh, what's your assessment of, of, of I thought the staff was extraordinary. I mean, I've never been uh, around a people about whom I had so much admiration, and you know, I could tick them all off, uh, from you to Bill Moyers to Harry McPherson to Barefoot Sanders to Joe Califano to Jim Jones. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm just forgetting uh, many, many, many members of the staff, but. Uh, I worked with, I think, almost all the members of the staff at one time or another, and uh, uh, liked them, respected them, never had any problems with any of them myself. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, I work cl most closely with Marvin Watson, who, as you know, has asked me to write uh, his uh, autobiography, his, uh, his take on Lyndon Johnson. By the time this is released, that book will have already been published, but, uh, um, but, but say a few words about it anyway. Well, I, uh, amazingly enough, uh, you know, Marvin has never spoken to anybody in public. He's uh, very, been very tight-lipped. Uh, he took very seriously the president's uh, uh, admonition that people who work for him should uh, uh, have this passion for privacy, or anonymity, I think was the word. And, uh, but finally, three and a half years ago, Marvin um, uh, asked me, for some reason or other, if I would uh, write his story, basically not his own autobiography so much as his years with Lyndon Johnson. So it's more a book about Lyndon Johnson through the eyes of Marvin Watson than anything else. And it's a book I've been working on for three and a half years that St. Martin's Press will be publishing. And uh, 
I've been very happy to do it because working with Marvin as closely as I did in the White House, he is a, was, probably still is, a much misunderstood man. Uh, uh, and uh, he was, of course, excoriated by the press uh, when they couldn't uh, get anything on Johnson, they'd often get on Watson. Uh, uh, even so many years ago, here is uh, Novak was still on pre still on television. Even in back in those years, was writing nothing but nasty articles about Marvin Watson. So I think the time has come to uh, to uh, try to tell the story. If anybody is still interested in it, about. Uh, Marvin Watson, his relationship with the president, uh, the work he did for the president, and the very intimately close relationship he had with both the president and Mrs. Johnson. Are you likely to write that yourself? Excuse me? Are you likely to write that yourself when you finish uh, being his amanuensis? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think beyond this, uh, this Watson book. Beyond this Watson book, uh, the next project I have is my unfinished novel about my uh, uh, years that I went sailing around the world with my wife. Uh, great. Okay, well, what else, uh, does anything else occur to you that you'd like to... Oh, I'm sure much will occur to me later, but I think I've taken enough time of you and the, uh, uh, and the cameraman, Mr. Watson. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's, it's been very productive. Well, good. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you.